డాక్టర్ కన్మోజి ఎన్విఎన్ సోము ఆనరబుల్ చైర్పర్సన్ సర్ థ్యాంక్ యూ ఫర్ గివింగ్ మీ అన్ ఆపర్చునిటీ టు స్పీక్ ఆన్ ద మోషన్ ఆఫ్ థ్యాంక్స్ ఆన్ ద ప్రెసిడెంట్ అడ్రస్ సర్ ద పెర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ ఇస్ లైక్ అ కాయిన్ విత్ టూ సైడ్స్ అ బర్స్ అండ్ రివర్స్ ద పెర్ఫార్మెన్స్ ఆఫ్ ద గవర్నమెంట్ హ్యాస్ గాట్ టూ సైడ్స్ పాజిటివ్ అండ్ నెగటివ్ but the president address sums up only to the positive side of the last 10 years comfortably forgetting the negative sides which has been existing in the last 10 years sir so i am exclaimed to find the phrases like in the last 10 years or a decade ago found mentioned more than 32 times in the president speech while narrating the achievements of this government in the last 10 years the nation also wants to know the reverse side which is terrible It is quite understandable that the president address on the election year would sound like that it is more like a teaser of a film but due to the coming uh, lok sabha elections but the positivity not only should be spoken all the negativity of the whole country needs to be mentioned i would like to record in this august house what really matters and what is really missing the honorable president has failed to mention the blandet failures of this government uh especially sir anyone sitting in this august house knows exactly what is happening in manipur if this is a condition for the member of parliament what about the normal people and the ordinary citizens of the country the president fails to address and mention what is happening in the manipur state whether any appropriate steps being taken by the government to stop the ethnic violence in manipur and to restore peace and normalcy in the manipur in the state of the country Sir, the Honorable President has failed to mention about the 75 foreign trips made by the Honorable Prime Minister in the last 10 years, visiting around 70 countries. If not for the COVID, he would have visited 100 countries, sir. He would have made a century on it. But they have failed to address what was the inputs of it, what is the investment brought by the Prime Minister of India to our country, what is the growth of our country by visiting so many, nothing. It is only a very, very... uh unspiced speech by the president sir so the suicides by the farmers and the farm workers it is very unfortunate that the incidence of the death by the suicide by the farmers and the farm workers is on the rise more than 1 lakh farmers have committed suicide in the last 10 years according to the report of national crime records bureau 30 farmers died every day by committing suicide in spite of the tall claims of farm loan disposals by the government a country cannot be considered a developed one when the sons of the soil farmers live in utter distress and penury the government which boasts that it provides free ration for 81 crore people below poverty lines for the next 5 years is indeed indebted to those poor farmers who produce such humongous quantities of food grains toiling in hot sun and braving hostile socio economic and climatic conditions sir so the overall unemployment rate in india as of now has gone beyond 10% in 2014 the unemployment rate was 5.4% as of now it is 10.03% the unemployment rate among the age group 25 to 35 years has touched 30% this shows that 40% of our youth population is unemployed another 30% of the population is underemployed only the 30% of the people are fortunate enough to get a regular job in the government either in the government or in the psus or in the private entities so we should not forget that in their uh, manifesto they had mentioned about getting job for every indian in this country let us make a note of it so the violence and the crime against the women and children in india like the physical or the sexual violence committed against the women typically a man is on the rise There are other forms of violence against women which includes acts such as domestic ab- domestic abuse, sexual assault, murder, dowry deaths, honor killings, female infanticide, sexual crimes like rape, modesty related violence, human trafficking, forced prostitution, domestic violence and acid throwing and many more. Sir so according to the National Crime Records Bureau in 2011 there were more than uh, uh, increased incidence of reports of crime against women while in 2021 there is a sharp increase of 87% increase according to the 2021 annual report of national crime records bureau 31677 rape cases were registered across the country this is an average of 86 cases per minute so we have passed women's reservation bill in this such kind of a scenario in the country which is still a far dream for all the women of the country 
Sir, in this situation in Tamil Nadu, under the leadership of our MK Stalin, 40% reservation in women government jobs have been given. The Muvalu Rama Amirdam Ammayar Higher Education Assurance Scheme of Rs. 100 until the girl child is able to complete her higher education and the Kalingar Magali Doctor, Uri Mai Program of speech. Rs. 100 for the financial support for the women. Sir, atrocities against the SCST and the oppressed communities. As per the report of the National Crime Records, Bureau Ministry of Home Affairs, more than 5 lakh atrocity cases have been registered in the last 10 years under the Scheduled Caste and the Scheduled Tribes Prevention Atrocities Act 1989. On an average, more than 50,000 cases were registered under this law. It is really unfortunate to see a country which proclaims as the third largest economy in the world and also forces a social stigma and shame. The attack and the atrocities against the SCST and the oppressed communities is on the rise since 2014. There are several of thousands of such incidents happened, but nothing has been reported or registered which shows the dark and the ugly side of the society we are living in. Ironically, the immediate past president, Sri Ramnath Govind, and the president, pre present president, Honorable Draupadi Madam, are also from those societies, sir. There is an urgent need for the comprehensive law to provide socio-economic and political security and safety for the people belonging to the SCST as well as from the other vulnerable communities. Sir, there is an increase in the dropout of students belonging to the SCST OBC from IITs, IIMs, and NITs, and central universities, and students committing suicides. It is shocking to know that maximum number of dropouts occur among students belonging to the SCST and OBC and minority committees from the PG and PhD programs across the countries in the IITs. In the last 10 years, more than 8,000 students belong to these communities, and minority communities have dropped out from the IITs, IIMs, IITs, and NITs, and the ISRs and 50 students died by suicide inside the campuses across the country, and there is no address about this in the Madam's speech. Sir, so, there is an unprecedented increase in the cyber crimes and cyber fraud in the country. The number of reported cyber crimes in India increased by more than tenfold in the last 10 years. The number of unreported would have been manifold. Even the websites of the vital and crucial government departments are being hacked. The menace of the crimes and frauds through social media networks is increasing, Alarmingly, even the social media handles of the ministries and the ministers are compromised. What is the guarantee for the common people then? We need to enact strict laws and strict, stringent action to curb the and stop the menace of the cyber crimes and cyber frauds in the coming years. Otherwise, the people of the country will be swallowed by the criminals of the cyber world. So, the lynching and the killing of the people from minority communities, it is an act of killing someone or a group without a legal trial. In other words, it is a planned extrajudicial killing via a group. The Honorable Supreme Chief Court observed that these extrajudicial attempts of killing under the guise of these protectors of the law have to be nipped in the bud, otherwise it would lead to anarchy which would clog and destroy the nation like an epidemic. In the last 10 years, India has seen an outbreak of the religious crimes. Sir, the President address is silent on this very dangerous issue which may ruin the life and the nature of the future generations. It's a wake-up call for all of us. If we don't act judiciously now, the future will witness tumultuous scenes and the reactions freak, uh, very frequently. So killing of the defense personnel posted at hostile locations is on the rise of the last 10 years. So the value of the rupee versus the dollar, it is unfortunate that the value of the Indian rupee against the dollar has been falling continuously for the last 10 years and dropped to an unprecedented low of 83 now. The value of INR against the US dollar was 53 per US dollar in 2013 to rupees 83 per US dollar. India is predominantly an importing nation depends on the import of crude oil fertilizers. Dr. India's Sir, speech. Sir, just two more minutes. I would just like to talk about the national education policy has set the target of reaching 50% GNR in 2035. The Tamil Nadu has reached its immense smile, this milestone way back in 2020. This was possible because of the one man, he is Tandai Periyar, he has propounded the Dravidian Code and propelled by the people of Tamil Nadu with equality, social justice and brotherhood. Perarangar Anna, the founder of Dravida Munetra Kalangam and Muthamadinga Dr. Kalangar has followed the principle of Vondre Kulam Urvane Devan and Kadamai Kanyam Kapitipadu. With their superlative enlightening speeches, they have energized the heart and the soul of Tamil Nadu and paved the way for the equitable growth which is spearheaded by her leader, M.K. Stalin. So before I conclude my speech, I would like to quote our leader, Aringar Anna, who spoke 62 years back 
on the motion of thanks on the president address in this august house unquote what arigar anna said i regret very much that the president has not stated anything about the neo nationalism that is surging up in the south sir i have stated that there are three tenets democracy socialism and nationalism i would conclude by saying that democracy is distorted socialism is emaciated and nationalism is misinterpreted i think in the coming years there will be a new sense of appreciation and the needs and philosophy of the south will be better understood and self determination accorded to tamil nadu from where i have the honor to come unquote sir when we look at the happenings around us his maiden speech has the relevance even today thank you very much vikram ji